All right, so here's another paradigm conversation, okay? Don't worry about what's behind me. I'm moving. That's my set of pots. And so um, just don't worry about what's behind me. Pay attention to what I'm saying, all right? Catch this word. Uh, I had to pull over. I was on my way from work. And, you know, I was just haphazardly driving uh, all, along all the rest of the traffic. And um, this was, you know, one of my paradigm conversations. Me and God were just, just, just chatting it up, right? And so he just started to talk to me about the path to destiny. And um, it was just beginning to re re reveal some things to me about how we do Right, so we're we're driving, we're going along the path. Uh, what I mean by driving is we're just living, we're just trying to do what God has called us to do. Right, God is giving us an order to say, okay, do this or do that, or He's giving putting something in your spirit to do. Let me slow down because uh, I'm too excited. But He's uh, maybe put something in your spirit to do something. He has mandated you to do an idea he has given you, a business he wants you to play, at, a ministry he wants you to do, and you're on your way, right? Uh, just because when you're on your way, be careful not to get off of the path. You know, sometimes we're in traffic and uh, we're riding, and as soon as there's the slightest little delay, a lot of times we want to take the very first exit we see, thinking we can bypass the traffic because we don't want to be delayed, right? Nobody wants to be delayed. Nobody wants to be held up. We all want to get where we're going and we want to get there as quickly as possible. But God said, I don't work that way all the time. That's not how I work. Sometimes there will be delays. Sometimes I'm slowing you down for a reason. And if you want to take the exit, the quickest exit you see, as soon as something uh, flashes up, you take that exit. But did God tell you to exit there? Just like a GPS. A lot of times people get lost because they don't follow instructions properly. And that's the same way with us. We don't follow the GPS of the Holy Spirit. We don't follow the instructions of God that when the delay comes, we take that exit. He didn't tell us to take that exit. So now once we take that exit and we get lost, now we have to uh, rely on the Holy Spirit to reroute us back to the destination that we're supposed to get to. I was like, God, that's so simple, but that's that's bad right there. Because we really do do that. And a lot of times uh, in this instance, what God was saying to me prophetically is there are too many people who take the quickest exit thinking that we'll get to the destination that he has for us quicker. But that's not the case. God wants you to go through certain things. He wants you to understand certain uh, processes, certain delays that are not necessarily delays. You see them as a delay. But maybe God is trying to teach you something. Maybe he's trying to build character and substance on the inside of you. So you need to go through that uncomfortable situation. But now we want to veer off and we want to. And then once we get lost, God, where are you? When God said, no, where art thou? Where are you? Because you have left the path that I put you on. So where are you? Don't ask me where I, don't ask me where I am because I'm in the path that I told you to get on and stay on. I never told you to leave it. So if he, if God told you to build a business, you stay right there in that business and you build it and you work it no matter how long it takes. Get your business plan, get your, 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 all your paperwork together, get your, all your contracts together, work on your employee handbooks, all of that. You stay right there. Do not exit and say, oh, well, I'm going to do this because what God told me to do is taking too long. I feel like I'm being too delayed. No, no, sir. No, ma'am. Get your butt right back to where he told you to be and you work that path. You stay 
on that path. God has given some of you an order. Okay? He's given some of you an order. And the order, when God gives an order, for example, like in the military, uh, you know, uh, and even in scripture, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, right? Check this out. This is another way to look at it. In the military, you get orders, right? Um, this is where you're supposed to be. And when you get there, this is what you're supposed to do. Some of you, God has given you orders to do certain things in certain cities, in certain regions, on your jobs, in certain families. You have orders, right? And sometimes you want to ask for a leave when you haven't completed your order. Complete the order. Finish the assignment. There's this thing going on around on TikTok. I understood the assignment. I absolutely love that. Understand the assignment and complete the mission. And don't ask to be lifted off of the mission. God is not going to release you to do nothing else until you complete the assignment and the mission that he's giving you to complete. All right. I'm, I'm a, let me stop. Because I feel like you're busting. But I need you to hear me. I need you to hear me. Just because there's a delay, just because you feel uncomfortable with this, because things may not seem to be going the way that you think it should go. Remember this. In the path that God has for you, in the plan that God has for you, there's provision in that plan. So if your provision is, is kind of shaky and you got off the path, there could be a reason why your provision is a little bit shaky. Um, not all the times, but it could be a reason. Check whether or not you've gotten off the path. Have you stopped doing what God has told you to do? Because there's provision there. There's protection there. Yes, there is protection there. Because God, if God has told you to do something, why would he not protect what he said to do? Right? God honors his words so much that he swore by himself. He will protect his word. So if he's given you something to do, he's told you something to do, consider it his word. And his word never returns a damn void. So if you be obedient to what God has told you to do, if he gave you a ministry, go plant the ministry. If he gave you a business, go plant the business. If he told you to buy a house in this area, go buy the house. It doesn't matter who tells you you can't have the house. They're irrelevant. What matters is what God said. Do whatever he leads you to do. And stick to it. Don't get off the path. Stay on the path. Don't go for the quickest delay. Do not be distracted. Now is not the time for distractions. We cannot afford distractions right now. This ain't the time for distractions. This is the time to where if I got to sit here in the traffic of life and I'm delayed for 35, 45, an hour, if I'm delayed for a month, if I'm delayed for weeks, if I'm delayed for a few days, or even if I'm delayed for a year, I'm going to stay right here. Res get that reserve in your spirit. And don't let it go. All right? Don't let it go. Because there's a blessing in when, in getting to where God wants you to be. Because he knows the thoughts that he thinks towards you. Thoughts of good and not of evil. So if God thinks good thoughts towards you that are not evil, then is your delay really a bad thing? Could it be a bad thing? I don't think it's a bad thing. Not if his thoughts are not evil towards me. If his thoughts are good towards me. So consider, maybe the delay is the protection. Maybe the delay is a teaching moment. Maybe the delay is building my character. Because right now I'm too immature. And I need to grow a little bit. I need to learn how to 
manage time better. I need to know how to manage my emotions better. Maybe I'm so quick to take the first exit because I don't have the focus that I need. So maybe God is trying to teach me focus in the delay. He's trying to teach me long suffering, longevity, a stamina in the spirit. Just maybe, maybe that's his love looking out for you. All right, this prayer and love conversation. That's enough because I could be, I can, I can stay here all day because that was good to me. Just on the little 20 minute ride home, stay in the path and do what he called you to do. All right, y'all be blessed. I love y'all.